for those who think uh, the natural way is best without mm. doing uh, mm. any kind of surgery mm. 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 Uh, your your thoughts on that see uh, we all would like to go by what the nature has set for us okay mm. but that does not mean that ev- for everybody every time it's going to happen naturally mm. otherwise you know not just fertility um i'm talking about any diseases anything else you know we all have been given a set of organs which are supposed to function normally till we kind of end uh however that's not so and that's why we have hospitals mm-hmm. <laughs> otherwise we doctors would be out of business right <laughs> by now right. okay uh so yes if naturally if it happens fantastic mm-hmm. but to me i look at it the other way i look at it if it is not possible to happen naturally i'm not talking about surgery surgery is only a part of the fertility treatment and a very small part of it many mm-hmm. times patients don't require surgery for fertility they require ivf right. okay so we're talking the unnatural way is the ivf where the baby is formed um, the embryo is formed outside the body and then put inside the uh, uterus mm-hmm. now i look at it as in these day and times the, the ivf the uh, uh, reproductive medicine has advanced so much mm-hmm. that these patients can actually now there is hope for them right otherwise it would have been like okay fine this is not working your tubes are blocked or whatever and you can't have any children and it was like like a dead end now mm. there are so many things so many ways um uh, to kind of you know get you pregnant not always there are there are some points where we even ivf kind of ends there and we say we can't do much about it mm. but there is help so i wouldn't think of it as uh, a natural way there is nothing unnatural about it at the end of the day the baby is going to go into the uterus and it's going to grow inside the uterus like a normal baby so it's not you know any different at all and um, a woman who is uh, struggling to get pregnant uh, the trauma and the and the pain they go through is very difficult mm. part of it is yes because there is a society expectation but i don't think that is the main thing if the society did not have any expectation at all even then a woman would feel not having a child uh, to be a big part of her you know uh, emotional uh, uh, what would you what would you call it a deficit or a non uh, unfulfilled wish kind of a thing but do you think doctor I think it is not just you know sometimes people look at it as so what if you don't have children why should you be so emotional and all that mm-hmm. I don't think it is to do with the woman's mind I think it's biological mm-hmm. the uh, the uh, what do you say the uh, urge or the crave or the instinct to uh, produce a progeny is evolution so i don't think we women are simply attached that we want a child at any cost mm-hmm. i think it's biological as well 